Hello guys and welcome to another Adobe Lightroom video. Today we're going to be editing some photos that I took today. Now before I start the editing process I want to say that if you guys want to go and view the photos that have been edited in today's video go down in the description down below and I also want to point out that the album that these are put in up on Flickr that album gets updated every time I go on there so it's a one continuous album that will be updated throughout the years and years. So, um, yeah, anyway, today we are editing a part in Swanage Railway. We are here um, on a embankment bank thing high above the clouds. So, yeah, anyway, we're going to be editing. I've done all the ranking, etc. So we do, I took around 293 photos. That doubles because you have a JPEG file and a RAW file. So yeah, anyway, this here is a mile, I think this is a sort of, I think it's a mileage stamp or a sort of distance thing, so that's 131, I think, along here. So yeah, I like this because you've got a bit of, you know, you've got that focusing on here, you see the rails, etc, stuff like that. So yeah, trouble is, it's quite, you know, quite bright, you had the sun shining down, it was, it was, yeah. I will point out as well, guys, that the video may be a bit boring. By that I mean I may not be talking from time to time as I am sort of concentrating. So yeah. Anyway, that's done. Yeah. So so basically, basically this is a train that was going on throughout the day up until we get near the end where we have this one. It makes an appearance, it makes an appearance luckily. So yeah. Anyway, so we've got this one today. Um, right, so we got this one. It's a t little tank engine. It's not the best in the world. But um, yeah, um, as you can see, you've got the specs in the right hand corner, hopefully. So, yeah, anyway, so right, um, mm. I feel like that's a bit like there, I think it's fine. I feel that the number there is a bit overexposed. There we go. We've got that one, and we'll close. Oh, look. Is that a guy with a smartphone? <laughs> yeah, I swear he's got like a bit of soot that's just gone into his eye. Something of the matter. Um. There we go. That's quite cool. Yeah, we're a bit more close, a bit more closer, closer. That guy's put his head in. No wonder why. So yeah. Um, it does a great job. This was taken with the Nikon D3300. Um, it'll be an unboxing video um, in top right hand corner in the car section up here somewhere. So yeah, if you want to go view that, definitely recommend to go and view that. Um, so yeah, it's a great camera. It is definitely. definitely this is going to be the main one to say this one, this one will be, this one will be. So yeah, so yeah. Um, it's how it's looking black and white. How does it look in black and white? Looks all right. Trouble is, we just need these areas here. That's the only problem I have with it. It's just that it's meh. Actually, how's that looking color? I think the color looks better. Here we go again. Here we go again. Really hate the way I got that in there. Doesn't really matter. Let's see how auto does it. Ooh, look at that. This is a great thing about doing raw files because you can just go in here, edit them, put them how you want to, upload them on the Flickr. Dun 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 dun. This here is just definitely far back here. Looks a bit new. There we go. That's a bit better. Here we here we are again. 
again, because the sun was facing down on here, it just makes the whole front completely exposed. It's a pity that this thing here is in the way. Can I... How's that looking black and white? Oh, it doesn't look too bad, actually. Doesn't look too bad like that, actually, to be honest. Yeah, we'll keep that like that. Quite like that. Here it is, chugging off into the distance, going over the viaduct, 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 like so. Um, I'm probably going to remove this one. I'm not a big fan of it. And so, yeah. We got one of the, got one of these on the, these on the Sony, the normal Sony Railway album that we have on there already. I'm going to remove this, like so. So, mm, do I like that? Not really. Like this, this though. We have the. Signal up there. I quite like it in black and white. Uh, blacks. Let's make him a bit darker. Can I get it a bit more so it's sort of. I think that looks a bit level. Yeah, that does. Even though I was in a tripod, bear, bear. Remove that. Yeah, yeah. I like that station though. I like the station photo. Photo. <laughs> Let's go back to the black and white theme. Oh, actually, it does look quite nice in black and white. This is not an original signal box. It's one that they've made, like I'm going to say, in like 2013. I think something like that. So relatively new. Okay, so like that. There we go. Back. It takes like around it takes like around forty five minutes because there was only this train running. Um. So yeah. It did feel quite longer though. I will say. Um yeah. It's a sort of like a iffy one because yeah. Again, again, it gives a bit more character to the whole thing. This is one of the drivers. Here it is, a train here, I'm up alongside Corf Castle, Castle, up here. I quite like this. Overexposed, definitely on the back there. That's contrast, Ben. What are you doing? That actually does bring in the background. I feel that this shot will have to go. Yeah. Then got this shot. Uh, gonna give girl like that. Cool. Is 
a signal. Get to take that out. Bit awesome. Again, we've got another. Again, we've got another one of these. I quite like these because again, it gives character to the whole sort of thing. I guess you would say. Uh, there you go. Do that. Bring out the colours, the details on the face. Gonna reduce the background on there just a bit. Cool. You remove remove this one. Uh. uh Right. Uh, hmm. I don't know. We'll keep it in and see how it is. Like this. This. Now I don't. Now I don't know why, but I do like the back of carriages with the white door. I like this. I do. Uh, can I actually, if I do that, keep the signal in, oh, wrong way, wrong way. I'm gonna remove this. <laughs> it's no way. Here's a point. Here's a point. Um. So this is a point locking system along here. We got this. It pulls it out. This locks everything in place. So everything here cannot be moved if this is locked in place. Um, and it's good. It's a nice little mechanical system. So uh, yeah, I think that's really to be honest, as good as it is, like so. That I'm gonna remove. That I'm gonna remove. Move that out like so. The reason I like this is because you've got a bit of definition. So all of that. This is, you know, old. Even though it's refurbished. You've got the sort of same, the sort of same thing, same thing with this again. Let me just edit that to that. Uh, exposure. Gonna. Put that down, maybe a bit like that. Bring everything out. Ooh. Just say that. Do that. Do that. Do that. Do that. There we go. Is that Corf Castle, sta Castle Station? Station. Now for this, I'm going to bring everything in quite close. Now with this, I have to be a bit careful because, well. I don't know what is in focus. This along here definitely looks quite out of focus. Um, so yeah, that's the thing that I knew. Yeah. Gonna do this with black and white because you've got the train in the background. You've got this like so.
What have I done to bring? There we go. Cool. Right, right. I'm gonna uh, take that one out. There we go. That's sort of more, sort of more action shot. shot. Loads of steam everywhere. It's not smoke. Smoke comes out of the top here. Um, that's the thing. People always think, you know, yeah, you know, steam is what it's powered by. Smoke comes out of the top. So yeah. Um, let's get a bit more close in on the action. So I'm gonna say around to there. Up to this little shunt disc. Up to the signal. Yeah, it's a bit odd. No. Gonna remove that. Let's get a bit in, let's say. We're not gonna completely compress it, but we're gonna get a bit in. There we go, up the contrast, etc, stuff like that. Up the whites. Okay, so getting a bit so getting a bit more closer, closer. Gonna nick that. Right, I'm gonna take the signal and the, that telephone pole out of the way. We'll get that up to around that shunt disc there. Try and get it so it's a bit level. There we go. He's getting a bit more closer. closer. For that, I'm going to say we're going to get a teeny weeny weeny bit more close. Trouble I have with this, this guy's sticking his head out, but other than that, not much of a big deal. So I can put it in black and white and I can make everything look quite nice. So yeah, perfect though. Here we go. So evil. I like this because we've got the whole signal now in shot. 160 millimeters, so that's not even half, to be honest. I thought. There we go. Cool. Uh, highlights in here. Uh, yeah. The trouble is where I was down here. Basically, if um, so on. So basically, at the station, you look down. There is a crossing. There's two of these. There's one here. There's one where I am now, and there's one further on, just a bit behind. The trouble is to get there. You have to go through a school, <laughs> uh, sort of field, and it's sort of a bit. Because like you don't you don't know whether it's like private property, or <laughs> like yeah. So there's a bit here. Here is a bit more closer. But the thing I love is just how close you get, and then the emphasis you get basically for being that close. And it really sort of puts you in sort of um, shoes, I would say. Yeah, black and white here is a bit meh. To be perfectly honest. I'm gonna keep it like so. This one's the main. This one's the main shot I want to keep or get. Quite nice. Again, we're gonna go all the way to there. Dead space. I'm gonna keep it to around there. A 
with this. I'm actually just going to pull it down to around there. Higher whites, they can go up a teeny weeny bit. Blacks going to go down. Perfect. How far are we? Are we? We're just, I'm going to say, just over halfway for now, which is all right. This I'm going to take out. I'm going to take out. Here we go. Go a nice little. Go a nice little. Nice little shot there of it just departing, I guess you would say, going on to Harmon's Cross. Which if they were running two services at this moment in time, which they weren't, um, would be the sort of crossover point. Hmm, I don't know. As the station gets its name for, Old Castle, it was blown up by Oliver Com Cromwell. Which is a bit stupid. <laughs> but anyway, we've got ruins, so... Bombay Eye. Lovely. I'm going to remove the chimney from there, because I don't like it. There you go, a bit more closer just there. Hmm. I like that. Lights are there. There we go, cool. Is that signal? Signal, I'm gonna remove that. Is these so I've got a pulleys, a keys, etc. Uh of everything. I quite like it, so I keep it. So you can see right in there you can. Exposure. I keep that a bit there. Cool. There's a signal. There's a signal box. We've already got one of those, so I'm going to remove it. Signal. Got. got uh, going to remove it. It's nice. nice. Track side. Track side. Again, nice sort of curve in the track. Viaducts just there. And get a lovely shot that's if you are in the right place at the right time on down below so yeah a bit overexposed here yeah I'll keep it like that Eric from here I'm here I'm gonna remove this like Mainly because this guy is sort of look he's looking at the camera. This guy is. Which is great. I like I love it when the drivers look at the camera. They do. Now with this it might not be the best shot in the world. By that I mean it's got no real sort of character to it, I don't think. Nor does it have any sort of style or thing that's gonna make you wanna go, ooh, that's cool. It's just the driver up here. And because of how the slope, the slant it's coming at. That's what I quite like about it. And again, got the back of the carriage, which I really adore for some reason. I like to get those sort of shots, if you can. So, yeah. It is our, I wouldn't say porter. Um, I don't know what you'd call them. One of uh, the men here doing a uh, doing the uh, what was it points? That's it. Forgotten what it was for a second. There's probably like I don't like doing photographs of people when they're sort of looking directly at you. The thing I love doing though, I'm trying to get even more, is actual sort of like portraits of like people doing their thing, trying to work, etc. I really like it. Uh, so yeah, that's all right. Not all right. Right. 
for some reason for some reason I do. No, Ben, no black and white for this. Uh, can I go up a bit? Nah. And nope. Uh, that would be alright. Can I chop off the end just there? Boom. There we go. Here he, here he comes around again. We've I think we've got too many of these. Quite like this sort of, I won't say action again, but you've got the spray of water coming out of here. I've missed this one, haven't I? Yes, I have. We I have. We're nearly at the end, guys. Again, we've got a bit of dead space in front of here, which I quite like. So, probably going to go along there. Probably going to go a bit like so. Perfecto! It's gone to here. Again, sort of maybe sort of black and white, maybe for this. I don't know. Let's have a little look. Yeah, black and white's alright. I will say, blow black and white. In my opinion, doesn't work well for sort of landscape shots. And the reason for that is because it's got no sort of old school properties. If you get what I mean, like with this, it's old school. It's steam, so it's got that link to it compared to this, which it's just, or compared to like a, I don't know, like a picturesque sort of. Uh, well, you get what I mean. In my opinion, it doesn't really work because it doesn't really really show anything. So, yeah, I want to get this one in black and white. Oh, I've gone a bit too up on there for my liking. Let's get a bit of the tracking. Exposure, contrast. I'm gonna get a bit black on here. This again, we've got, we've got the hand exit, hand exit, just stuff like that. I might just crop it so it is the hand. Really overexposed. Let's say it there. Um. Go to that. This is the Manston, the Bully Pacific, really powerful uh, engine, an absolute monster of an engine as well. Okay. 
Maybe the game again. You can remove this one. I'm going to get this is a bit, is a bit more, clo more close, so if you get my mouth. There, there, there. I like to get the grass in. And this will go there. Will it look best in colour? Sort of you. I don't want to like, overexpose it. It's trouble I'm finding here. Seems all right. How do we look in colour? Yeah, we look all right. One of these we keep in colour or something like that. This again. How do we think so, uh, probably this is gonna probably this is gonna be yeah I don't know so it's sort of that fact that you can't always get to what you want and where you want at the right time this I quite like trouble is with an engine like this is that you got this panel here it's all sort of shiny really shiny And therefore you got the sort of really high exposures or sort of the shininess on the side here. So I think that's our best we're gonna get with that. Got so much white on there. <laughs> and then black just to finish the whole thing off. Our final two, final two. I'm going to remove that. Not a fan of that. With, with this, I'm going to possibly crop out. There's my tripod down there. <laughs> if you want to go and see the tripod unboxing, top right hand corner, guys, in the card section, you can go and watch it there. So, we're all right, tripod it is. For all it is. Let's see how blurry it is. No, not my not photo at all, at all. It's too far away, that's why. No. So been our little Away. If you want to go and see the full album, it's down in the description down below. That album will be get updated every time I go on a travel there. Um, so yeah. Um, anyway, guys, if you want to go and see some more of my albums, definitely go and check out my Flickr down in the description down below. As well as that, definitely go in the top right hand corner where you can see, go and see the D3300 unboxing, the review of the lens I was using during today's shoot, and also where you can go and see many more videos that I've created, including the Great Dorset Seam Fair, where I do the exact same thing as I've done today on here. Anyway, guys, have a wonderful easy day. If you have enjoyed, please go hit that subscribe button. It's much appreciated as always. And if you did enjoy, please go hit that like button below the video. It really helps a lot. Anyway, guys, have a wonderful easy day. I'll be see you soon. NES, bye-bye.